Hello, welcome back everybody. One mechanic here, Dave. And today I am very excited to show you what I got. Mm -hmm. So I got some dynamic wrenches and um, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but Dynamic is a, another company of uh, gray tools out of Canada. And I've always have wanted to try gray tools. I've seen a few other pieces here and there. A uh, Cornwall guy I had many years ago had some gray tools on his truck as an option. Um, especially metric stuff, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been quite a while ago. Um, but I've always wanted to try them, and you can't buy gray tools here in the States. Until Dynamic came around and started doing this. Uh, if you remember back, there's a video of it. I won some of their ratcheting wrenches um, from CP the Tool Addict, and Dynamic Tools are doing a giveaway, and they have been phenomenal they are a great stubby ratcheting wrench um, look at my past videos uh, if you want to see my uh, review on them and the videos before I actually got a chance to use them I just shown them off and this video also is I've yet to use them this is just my first impressions of them and uh, to show you, um, after I get some time on them, some use on them, I'll do another video um, on it, whether I like them or don't like them or anything else. Um, but yeah, um, if you haven't yet, uh, if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing, hitting that like button. Helps the channel out, helps me to grow and be more popular. We all want to be popular, right? Um, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's check them out. Here we go. Nineteen-piece metric combination rinse set from Dynamic. Part number D O seven four two two three. And it's six to 24 no skips. <laughs> no skips. Oh, you get a little catalog. with it. Really nice. You hear that? It's really heavy duty. Twenty four inch. And each wrench is stamped in the head and on the shaft. Can't tell if this is, the dynamic might be etched on it, but the actual size is stamped into it. Um, I like this satin look personally. But, good looking jaw. Very clean wrench. Now this one measures about 12 and a half inches. And let's do a common 13 
which is exactly seven inches. Comes in this really nice pouch, like I said, heavy duty, Velcro, very nice pouch. Um, and I don't know if you can tell how thick the uh, shaft of this is. Trunk shaft, I'm not sure what you call it, but. But personally, I mean, in my hands, this feels really good. Yeah, I like that. Dynamic, 16 pit piece, standard SAE, or Sometimes you hear them called um, Imperial sizes. This kit is part number D074221. And heavy box. Goes from a quarter to inch and a quarter, which looks like no skips. The, uh, so down the shaft of it, according to this, the name and the sizes are laser etched, but in the head of it, it's actually stamped the actual size, which I like anything that has a stamp on it because the laser etching, especially if you use it a lot, you know, wears off. So I, I do like that feature of it. Take a look. Oh, another little catalog. Again really heavy duty roll. I don't think I've ever seen one as heavy as this. Uh, let's go with the one inch. Oh, I like the length of the one inch. There are no special you know teeth or anything like that. Stamped, and like I said, the uh, name, the size, and the name is all etched in there. If you can see that, and then the box in looks pretty nice. And I like this look. I like the satin. I kind of like the old school look. But the inch measures 13 and a quarter inches long. Uh, let's do 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths measures seven and a half exactly. And the inch and a quarter. And it measures 16 and three quarters. And as you can see, nicely stamped on the end. Good thickness, good size. That is the SAE set.
What'd you think? Um, my first impressions. This is a nice wrench. Um, each one of these sets cost uh, just over $100. Um, I'll try to do a screenshot here. Uh, down below, I'll leave a link to them uh, if I can in the description. So you can go look at them, check them out. Um, also, you want to subscribe to their website because they do um, free shipping. And as of the taping of this, they're about to do a, a Black Friday sale. Um, I'm not sure what the sale is, but I know that they've been advertising on Instagram. They're about to hold a Black Friday sale. Anyway, though, back to these wrenches. I My first impression of these wrenches is that I, I really like them. Um, I think this is a nice wrench. Uh, again, I, I like the old school um, satin. It's kind of like the old uh, cast iron kind of look to it. I like the thickness of this. So it's not too thin, but it's not too thick either. Um, it's the right combination. The, this is a nice length. They all seem to be a pretty nice length. So, like I said, I will get some use of these and, uh, uh, probably, well, unless I use them a lot over this winter time with broken hydraulic lines, that could be. Um, but I'll put some use to them and see how they work out and see what my final impression will be of these. But so far, out of the packaging, I like, I like a lot. Hey guys, so I wanted to add this to the video, and this is filmed afterwards. Uh, to start off, I have used the uh, a couple of the tools since I made the beginning part of this video. Uh, nothing major, um, some smaller stuff, but um, on Instagram, I think I showed a couple of pictures of it. Uh, the fit seems really good on them. Um, again, nothing major, but uh, so far they seem pretty good. But I wanted to talk about a little bit about dynamic tools. Sorry for the old man glasses. <laughs> and I got my notes. Um, so I've been talking to him for a while. And uh, the guy I've been talking to, super great guy. Uh, very informative. And I don't know if you guys realize this, but Dynamic Tools is a sub company to Gray Tools of Canada. And Gray Tools is a premium tool manufacturer in Canada. And they developed this as an alternative line to their line. So basically, you can kind of think of it as. Um, maybe blue point to um, the snap-on or expert to the Mac um, was it blue power to Cornwell and so on and um, when they were developing this dynamic tool um, they realized in the research that they found that there are different types of professionals with different goals and of course, a lot of that being priced. Um, and they realized that not every professional wants to invest in premium price tools. Um, so Gray Tools developed Dynamic. And in their design and everything else, and everything is designed in-house. It's not made in-house, so don't think that. But everything is designed by them and um, they tried to design it all with features that would benefit um, a professional of different levels um, 
regardless of the price. And, um, you know, they're working on it. They have some really neat features. Um, again, I got the ratcheting wrenches. They're stubby flex ratcheting wrenches. And I won them. I didn't pay for them. But I have used them, and they have been great. Um, I just got these wrenches from the time this video was made almost a week ago. So I haven't really got a whole lot of chance to use them, but I do like the looks and feel of them. I also wanted to tell you guys about the warranty on this. They have a limited lifetime warranty. And it's limited because they don't replace tools that have been abused. They will replace any tool that has the lifetime warranty and you have to look because like the screwdrivers and torque wrenches and something else doesn't have a lifetime warranty. Um, but the stuff that doesn't have a lifetime warranty, they'll replace if it fails under normal use or manufacturing defects. And of course their warranty is backed by gray tools which has been around since 1912. So that's pretty impressive. They're not going anywhere. Um, and most of the time on their warranty, like most other people, you take a picture of it, fill out the form, send it to them, and they'll review it and they'll send you out another tool unless they have any other questions for you. Um, so it's pretty easy going right now. But I wanted to share that with you folks before I ended this video because I'm finding it interesting and um, like I said before, my Cornwall dealer used to carry some gray tools and I asked them why gray tools wasn't in the U.S. and they told me that they tried for years to get gray tools into the U.S. but being a premium tool and with tool companies um especially back then snap-on mac proto cornwell williams wright um sk had all these premium tool manufacturing and there really wasn't room for them um so it never really developed in the u.s um i think if they had the internet then that it would have but with all the other premium brands here in the U.S., there really wasn't a niche for them. Um, just, just so you know some history about it. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, please ask below. Um, if you have any questions for them, you can contact them on Instagram. And I'll leave a link to their Instagram um, in the description below. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care. One mechanic, out.